Whew, yeah. When you hold a Threadripper CPU in your hand, feeling its surprising weight, air cooling doesn't necessarily come to mind first. But don't be fooled, we wouldn't have designed our Dark Rock Pro 4 in a Threadripper version if it didn't deliver excellent results there. First of all, we take a first generation Threadripper CPU, the Ryzen 1950X to be precise, and build it into a fast benchmark system with our Dark Rock Pro TR4 on top of it. The 16 core 14 nanometer system clocks at 3.4 GHz and creates 180 Watt TDP of waste heat. As was expected, our cooler braves the thermal power dissipation without any problems and keeps the CPU cool and fresh even after an hour of Prime 95 stress. At 3.7 GHz, 10% more, the temperature is still below 60 degrees Celsius. According to AMD, the throttling of their CPUs, which means downclocking for safety reasons, starts at 68 degrees. But admittedly, such a benchmark system with Prime95 is not exactly commonplace with end customers. Therefore, we switch to the second Threadripper generation, meaning a 2990WX, one of the most powerful CPUs right now, which we built into our Darkbase Pro 900 Ref 2 case, together with a Dark Power Pro 11 PCU, 64GB RAM, and two SLI connected graphics cards. This is more along the lines of something a 3D artist would work with. And of course these artists also want their systems to be as quiet as possible. The 32 core 12 nanometer CPU has a base clock of 3 GHz, which is no challenge for our Dark Rock Pro TR4 when running Prime 95. 3.4 GHz is also not a problem. After one hour, the temperature is a mere 58.5 degrees. And this temperature is being delivered by the AMD software and does not confirm exactly to the real temperature. But as it is in line with the AMD maximum temperature specifications, we can work with that. Now, the blend test of Prime95 is not the most fitting benchmark for our purposes, which is why we switch to Blender and run the BMW benchmark at 3 GHz. This rendering challenge pushes all available CPU cores to their max, which means that the picture is rendered in 1 minute and 46 seconds. We use the manual mode of the AMD software to increase the core clock by 10%, which is of no concern to our Dark Rock Pro TR4. We tighten the screws up to 3.4 and 3.5 GHz and end up at a 20% higher than base clock which already delivers 250 Watt TDP which matches the power of our cooler precisely. At stable 3.6 GHz the BMW is being rendered in a hair below 1.5 minutes, pushing all 32 cores to their limit. And the workload stays constantly between 3.594 and 3.604 GHz. And before you raise your objecting finger, of course we ran a long term test at 3.6 GHz as well, rendering an animated movie for more than an hour. The result? Rocksteady 3.6 GHz without any throttling whatsoever. Thanks to the Dark Rock Pro TR4, deciding between water and air cooling completely depends only on your preference. All that counts is only that number here, 250 Watt TDP. And of course, we have designed our cooler with some wiggle room in mind, as did AMD, which means that you can overclock your system up to 20% and run it continuously without having to worry about it. But that requires a good airflow. We use the three fans, which are included by default, and push them into the high RPM performance mode, which, as the name suggests, delivers top-notch performance and, as our name promises, remains silent. Well then, stay quiet.